worship the Bible. Yeah, kind of really. Um, yeah, I, I do find that. Do you? Not, not worship the Bible per se, but they just don't think that it can be changed. Okay. And it can't. The word, yeah. the word of God can't be changed. Okay. But on paper it has. So, yeah, you're right. When you say that, uh, for example, you said that the Bible, the word of God can't be changed. Okay? Yeah. Now, I agree with you. Why? Because in our Holy Quran, we have uh, 114 surahs and chapters. One of them is Surah Al-Nisa, the women, which is Surah chapter number 4 and in ayah verse number 29. Not the whole ayah, not the whole verse, part of the ayah. It says, Wala, it says, Wala mubaddila li kalimatillah. What does it say? Wala mubaddila li kalimatillah. No one will be able to change the Holy Quran, the Book of Allah, the words of Allah. Okay, that's what it says. So that's why even now that was there when the Holy Quran was revealed over 1400 years ago. So that is true. Why we say Allah is all knowing, He is all hearing, all seeing, Almighty. So Allah knew that nobody will be able to change His book the Holy Quran, the book of Revelation. So that's why uh, it's in our Holy Quran, Wala mubaddila li kalimatillah. In Surah Tunisa, the women, Surah chapter number 4, Ayah verse number 29. So that's why everywhere in the world, our Holy Quran we read is one and the same. It's, okay, it's uh, one and the same. All right? So our Holy Quran is one and the same. No changes, nothing taken away, nothing added. Why? We say it's the book of Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala. We say it's the book of God. So we as creation have, we cannot change it. And Allah knew it, okay? Now, you said that as a Christian, you said the Bible cannot be changed, yes? No, can't. yes because right. you said the Bible is the word of God, yes? yes. Oh, yes. Yeah, I agree with you. Why? Because uh, in your Bible, in the New Testament, in the second book of Timothy, chapter 3, verse 16, this book is in every Christian Bible. Whether it's the Russian Orthodox Bible with 86 books, whether it is the Greek Orthodox Bible with 78 books, whether it's the Catholic Bible with 73 books or whether it's the Protestant book with a Bible with 66 books or any other Bible. All right. This second book of Timothy, chapter 3, verse 16, is in each and every Christian Bible. Okay. What does it say? It says in the Bible, all scripture is God breathed, inspired of God, and is useful for teaching, rebuking, correcting, and training in righteousness. Okay? So, you believe this verse, yes? yes? So, as it says that all scripture is from God, it's God breath, it's from God. Alright? So, you believe your Bible is from God? Yes. Okay. Now it says they can be, you know, that it is used, the Bible, it is useful, uh, you know, what is inspired of God, from God, it says it's useful for teaching, for rebuking, for correcting, and for training in righteousness. Now, let me give you an example. For example, in... Uh, every Christian Bible okay in the world there is the book of Ezra you know there was a prophet uh, his name was Ezra in the Bible it says E-Z-R-A the prophet Ezra in his book in the book of Ezra it's giving the facts and figures, statistics, how many people
people Israelites okay were freed from Babylonian captivity okay how many Israelites were freed from Babylonian captivity from the different families okay and he gives you the number now let me give you an example in uh, the book of uh, Ezra chapter 2 verse 33 and of course the book of Ezra is in the Old Testament of every Christian Bible okay so in the book of Ezra chapter 2 verse 33 it says of Lord Hadid and Ono from these people how many men of Lord Hadid and Ono were freed from Babylonian captivity it gives the number 725 how many 725 were freed from the man of Lord Hadid and Ono in the book of Ezra chapter 2 verse 33 but when we look at the same thing about the same people in the in the other book in the book of uh, in the book of the prophet in the book of the prophet uh, Thank you. Uh, yeah in the book of the prophet Nehemiah now Nehemiah was also a prophet and there's a book of by his name in the Bible so in the Old Testament again in the book of Nehemiah chapter 7 verse 37 in every Christian Bible it says how many men of Lord Hadith and Ono were freed it says 721 so there's a difference of four for example in the book of Ezra chapter 2 verse 33 it says the total number of men who were freed of Lord Hadid and Ono were 725 but in the book of Nehemiah chapter 7 verse 37 it says from the same people of Lord Hadid and Ono 721 were freed so there's a difference of four yeah four so the question is the Christians tell us and you also told us you're a Christian as yeah. you told us the Bible is the book of God yeah. all right so these both books are yeah. uh, sorry but it's very windy you know so yeah. now maybe if you a bit more like this side okay so there's a, a, a slightly side this side yeah so so you know there's a difference of four mm -hmm. in other it says 725 freed in the book of nehemiah it says 721 freed yeah. so there's a difference of four so i want to ask you how many do you think were freed 725 from those families or 721 were freed how many were freed a good question um would you be able to well there's no tell us? there's no disputing that yeah. the bible prior to yeah. these horrific changes yeah. has been tampered with yeah um so you think this has been tampered with yes i do and the thing is it doesn't matter though because uh, okay you know that they're still finding seashells on mountain tops yeah. and you know kind of uh, okay. I, I, I wouldn't kind of Thank you very much. You yeah. know, when you thank you very much. When you say it doesn't matter, no, all right. No. <clears throat> so you are saying these mistakes don't matter. Um, not to me, no. Um, because I don't know. It's kind of it's in, in your heart more, yeah. But you know, these are supposed to be in the book of God, in the Bible. Yeah. So uh, I, I mean, when people are reading, so that's why. I would say, you know, the number of Christian churches is closing down. Yeah. The number of people going to Christian churches mm. is becoming less and less. Do you agree with that? Oh, yes. So, mm. as a Christian, do you agree that the number of Christian churches is uh, going down? Yes. 
Okay, right. And the number of Christians going to churches is also going down. Yes, I would say so, yeah. Uh, you are being a very honest Christian well, because, it's fact, it's yeah, fact. it's a fact. Yeah. You are right. So yeah. you are being honest. You are agreeing to that, you know. Oh, yeah. yeah, many Christians I speak to, they say, no, no, uh, you know, it's not true. right. Okay. Uh, so anyway, I'll give you another example. Yeah. From the same, you know, Israelites, mm. this is a second example. From the Israelites who were freed mm. from Babylonian captivity, from another different family mm. of Israelites. Now, in the book of the prophet Ezra, chapter 2, verse 35, it says, the Israelites freed from Babylonian captivity from the man of Sena. That's S E N A A H. The Israelites freed from the man of Sena. How many? It says 3,630. Okay, were freed from Babylonian captivity. But in the book of the prophet Nehemiah, chapter 7, verse 38. It says, the Israelites freed from Babylonian captivity, from the man of Sena. How many? It says 3,930. Three zero. Yeah. So there's a difference of 300. Why? In the book of Ezra, it says 3,630 were freed from the Israelites of Sana. But in Nehemiah, it says 3,930 men of Israelites, men of Sana were freed. So there's a difference of 300. Yeah, that's quite dramatic, isn't it? So 300, the first example I gave, the difference was four. Yeah. This second example I'm giving you of Israelites freed from Babylonian captivity mm. is uh, 300. Yeah. That's a large figure. Yeah, that is. Very much so, what, what would you say to that? Uh, that's quite interesting. Um, what would I say to that? Um, well, I'm presuming that you got that from quite a few years. From the Bible, yeah. yes. I've been yeah. reading the Bible a long time. Yeah. And uh, of course, I, I wrote these down because, yeah. you know, um, I talk a lot to Christians, mm. you know. Yeah. I speak a lot with Christians. Yeah debate a lot with Christians yeah. and uh, of course it's good to write down yeah. because you can't remember everything on the head so yeah. it's good to write down yeah, so it's easy for me I'm reading it to you but yeah. I'm giving you the names of the books yeah. and the uh, chapter yeah. and the verses yeah. so if anybody you know these videos will be uploaded people can read any different Christian Bible and look up at these numbers and of course they will be there yeah. and the question comes the book of Ezra ask any question to a, uh, any Christian yeah. was the book of Ezra yeah. <clears throat> a revelation from God the Christian will say yes yeah. Yeah. you ask the Jews the Jewish people yeah. they will say yes you ask the Jews or the Christian was the book of Nehemiah mm. you know a revelation from God yeah you know the okay, Christian yeah. will say yes yeah. but then how will they explain in the book of God how come that both books don't agree yeah. with the same family they yeah. are giving different number of people who were freed from Babylonian captivity you know Babylon is nowadays is Iraq you know in the old days it used to be most known as Babylonia you know, it used to be a big empire, you know, powerful empire, okay? So what is now Babylonia is modern day Iraq. Yeah. So in those days, Babylonia, a yeah. powerful nation, yeah. you know, powerful country, uh, one of the world powers in those days. Mm. So do you think because of these uh, differences, when people read the Bible, they are put off? No. And they... Maybe some maybe would, but not me. And not you? No, because I'm aware that there has been tampering. Yeah, so... but, uh, you know, our Holy Quran says that, uh, you know, as I said, Wala yeah. Allah. Yeah. Surah Nisa, 
the women's surah chapter number four, ayah verse number 29. Yeah. You know, when the Holy Quran was revealed, Wala mubaddila li kalimatillah. No one will be able to change the words of Allah. Yeah. No one will be, be, will be able to change the revelation from Allah. Yeah. So because we say we believe, we say our Holy Quran is true, it's never been changed, that's why. Do you know about the warning at the end of Revelations? Yeah, what is it? it you it can gives, tell me. It gives a warning. Yeah, tell me. Hello. Oh, Look, yeah. this is a better folder than Usman's, isn't it? Don't you? It's purple, it's better. Oh, no. it's, got, okay. it's got the truth in it. This has got deceptions. A deception, deception, you? deception. So the verses of the Bible Look, I got there, this. are they? This okay. is slightly bigger as well. Yeah, okay. The, can, I, can I ask you? The verses, excuse me, well, yeah. can I ask you, you know the, the verses yeah. from the Bible in this folder, are you saying those verses are deception as well? I am saying that the verses you take out of context and try and prove something yeah. are erroneous because you take them out of context and you don't fit them with the context. And if you don't fit the text with the con, yeah. with the context, okay, let me you ask you. with the con. Let me ask take you. Take the text out of context. Okay, let me ask you. Usman. Let me ask you. you no, no, you carry on. Uh, come on, let me ask you. Oh, because. So, you I'm, want to run away now? No, I'm not running away. I'm a little bit busy. I'm chatting to some people. Okay, then. I, I'll but... catch up with you later, yeah? yeah, yeah. I'll try to. Carry okay, on. we can carry on talking, yeah? A few more minutes, maybe. So, then. Uh, so, tell me. After seeing these differences. Yeah. Would you. Uh, sorry, slightly this side, yeah? Stand slightly this side. Oh, sorry. Uh, yeah, okay. That's it. Thank you very much. Very nice of you. Assalamu alaikum, brother. So, thank you very much. So, despite these differences in the Bible, mm. these different number of people, yeah, yeah. would you still believe in the Bible? Abusing How am I abusing? I'm talking with a lady and uh, she, she agrees to speak with me. How? How? Stop! Come here then! Hey, Christian! Okay, anyway. Ah, that was a Christian man, you know. It's very strange. I'm talking to you. And the Christian man going by, he said, I'm abusing. That's crazy. I mean, I'm speaking with you, you know. You yourself said, you know, what that Christian man said when he went by that I'm abusing yeah. women. You yourself said it's crazy. Yeah, it yeah of course it is yeah, crazy it is. because yeah. I'm talking with you. I'm not, yeah, uh, you know, I'm not swearing at you. No, I'm not no, insulting no. at you because uh, as Muslims we cannot do that. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, you know, our Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him. He said, uh, Hadith saying of the Prophet. Our Prophet said, the best of you is the best in manners. Oh, yeah. So when we Muslims speak, yeah. give speeches, yeah. when we debate. You know, we cannot abuse people, we cannot no, swear at yeah. people, we cannot insult people. So, you know, um, I mean, when these videos are uploaded, people will see. Yeah. I'm not swearing at you, I'm not insulting at you, I'm just trying to talk nicely yeah. with you, yeah? And thank you very much also, you. you're responding very nicely. This is the way it should be in Speaker's Perhaps Corner, you know. Yeah. yeah. Okay, tell me, you know, Ask any Muslim in the world, what is the name of the Creator? And every Muslim, whether it is a Muslim man, or it is a Muslim woman, or it is a Muslim child, every Muslim will be able to tell you when he's asked, what is the name of God? The Muslim will say, it is Allah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah is the name of God. Each and every Muslim will tell you that. Alright? Now, if I ask you this question, if a Muslim or anybody in the world who's, a, a, who's not a Christian were to able, were to ask a Christian, what is the name of the Christian God? Do you think every Christian will give them the same name of God or different names? No, there will be different names. Sorry, a bit loudly? Different names. So the Christian, so when, whether a Muslim asks a Christian, yeah. or an atheist asks a Christian, or a Jewish guy asks a Christian, anybody asks a Christian, what's the name of your God? The Christians, different Christians 
will have different names of God. Yeah, and yeah. it's interesting because there's really big debates about that at the moment. Yeah, sorry, can you stand this side a bit? Uh, yeah, okay, thank you. I hate yeah. cameras, by the way. I'm no, 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 you're not facing the camera. Okay. That's why, you know, it's yeah. good to yeah. stand away from yeah, them definitely. rather than go near them. Yeah. But, you know, this is a modern day and age, you know. Yeah. We are in the year, uh, yeah. you know, 2022, according to your Christian yeah. calendar, you know. Yeah. Uh, okay, yeah. There's a big so, debate at the moment whether to call, they're saying that Jesus yeah. is like a real kind of, uh, like a satanic name and that you should say Yesh Yeshua, Yeshua, Yeshua yeah. you know, the Hebrew. Yeah. So there's a lot of discussion about that at the moment um, yeah. in the Christian world. Um, yeah. So that's an interesting question that you've asked. So let's say, I mean, uh, you tell me, uh, I mean, uh, you know, I'm a Muslim, I told yeah. you, uh, me and any Muslim you ask about who is God Almighty, we say Allah. Yeah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is God Almighty. Yeah. Okay. You ask any Muslim who is the creator. Mm. Each and every Muslim will say it's Allah. Yeah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now, if I were to ask, uh, okay, let's move forward. If a Muslim asks a Christian, uh, what is the name of the creator? Do you think every Christian will have the same answer? More or less. Okay. Yeah, because God okay. the Father, God the Son, isn't it? So, you know. Yeah, but uh, that's... Uh, but, yeah. Do you know there are Unitarian Christians as well? I've heard about them. Yeah, you know, Unitarian yeah. Christians are those Christians who believe that Jesus was not God. Okay, yeah, okay. I think I've heard about them, yeah. You know the Christians say, God the Father. Yeah. Yeah, the Unitarian Christians and of course, we are standing in Speaker's Corner, London, England, United Kingdom. Yeah. And I have seen Unitarian churches, Unitarian Christian churches in uh, this country and uh, in the United Kingdom. And of course, the Unitarian Christians believe that Jesus was not God. Yeah. You know, they don't believe Jesus was God. Yeah, I've heard about how about you? Would you, as a Christian, believe that Jesus was God? Oh, absolutely, yeah. You do believe Jesus was yeah, God? God's the Son. Okay, so, so you believe that Jesus is God the Son? Oh, okay, so is it true, earlier on today, I heard a Christian, he was uh, speaking, giving a speech, yeah. and uh, that Christian was saying, that James, James was the brother of Jesus. Oh, yes. yeah, yeah. Okay, so as a Christian, do you believe that James was the brother of Jesus? Oh, that's a hard question. Um, that's a really difficult question. No, before you said, yeah, that's true, you know, that James was the brother of Jesus. Yeah, that, but the thing is, though, is that it's not, it, you know, it's not written down that it is. So, you know, I, I couldn't really... Um, but I mean, if if if, if Jesus was made flesh, then yeah. yes, possible. So but James was know. the brother of Jesus. I don't know. I don't. I honestly don't know. No, no Jesus was a man. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, so yeah. Jesus was a man. Yeah. Was James a man as well? Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So both Jesus and James, both of them were men. Yeah. And they were brothers. Yeah. Yeah. So it's true that Jesus and James, they were brothers. Well, it doesn't say that in the literal sense in the Bible, does it? But so James was the son of Mary, was he? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So, and the same Jesus you believe was God? Yeah. So if Jesus was God, yeah. according to you, yeah. Then was his brother, was the brother of Jesus, James, also God? Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't know. You don't know? No, I don't He know. wasn't God. James wasn't God. No, no. And nor make it easy, nor was Jesus God. Yeah. <laughs> See, because I'm, they were both men, isn't it? Yeah, I'm not scared to say I don't know. But... Okay, we Muslims, you know, at least uh, you are straightforward. You're telling us, yeah, you know, cause... you're being brave in that sense, yeah, you know. Of I'm not so, say yeah, uh, you know. That's a difficult question, though. It's, uh, you know. It's... Sorry, a bit more this side, you know. 
Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Okay. You're not coming the camera. You know. Don't worry. Uh, yeah. Just. Uh, uh, you know. So. Uh, you do believe in the Bible, yeah? Oh yeah. Uh, you believe uh, in the uh, all the books in the Bible. Yes, I do. Yes. You do. Okay. Uh, and you do believe that uh, Jesus prayed. Oh yeah. Who did Jesus pray to? To the Father. To the Father. So Jesus prayed to God. Yeah. Jesus didn't pray to himself. Not, not in the flesh. The so flesh. whenever Jesus prayed, Jesus prayed to God. Yes. Yeah? Yes. Okay. You asked me this question last week. I did. Now, I, I got several verses like I know in the gospel, in the first gospel in each and every Christian Bible, in the gospel according to Matthew, it tells us Jesus prayed. In the second gospel in every Bible, in the gospel according to Mark, it tells us that Jesus prayed. Yeah. In the third gospel in each and every Christian Bible, in the gospel according to Luke, it tells us that Jesus prayed. And in the fourth gospel in each and every Christian Bible, in the gospel according to John, chapter 17, verse 1, in the each and every Christian Bible it says, Jesus, he looked towards heaven and prayed. Yes. So in the Gospel according to John, chapter 17, verse 1, it says, Jesus looked up towards heaven and he prayed. So when Jesus looked up to heaven and prayed, was God in the heaven? Oh, yes. Sorry? Yes. So God was in the heaven yes. and Jesus was on the earth. Yes. So they are two different. Yes. They are not in the same place. No. Thank you very much for being very honest there. Why you do, know. People, do people say something different? No, because some Christians say, oh, they are same, you know. Uh, oh, sometimes yeah. they say, yeah, Jesus was on earth. Yeah. yeah, in heaven it was Jesus, you know. No, so, no. he was in the flesh. So he that's why it's not right, you know. Away from that. Yeah, so when on earth, yeah. Jesus, he prayed to God, yeah. you know. So Jesus, when he prayed to God, he didn't pray to himself, did he? No. Yeah, you are right, he prayed to God. Yes. It's like us Muslims, we pray five times a day, which is compulsory when we grow up, whether we are men or women, you know, and uh, we pray to, we are creation, and we pray to the Creator, Allah. So we pray five prayers, Fajr, Dohor, Asr, Maghreb, Isha. Why? We are required to pray five times a day from the time we grow up. Whether it's a Muslim man or a Muslim woman. All right? So, so we pray to Allah. Why? Because we are creation. So as creation Muslims, we pray to God Almighty, to the Creator, Allah. So, would you as a Christian believe that every Christian is a creation? And you also believe that Jesus was also a man? And you, do you also believe that Jesus was creation? Oh, yeah. Yeah? Uh, sorry, but loudly. Oh, yes. So, Jesus was also creation. Yes. So, when... Uh, Jesus prayed, Jesus prayed as creation to his God, yes? Yes. So when Jesus, he prayed, he prayed to his God. Yes. So another thing, you know, we Muslims say all the prophets were sent by God. You know, we have been, we have all been sent by God. Yes. But just at the moment talking about prophets, we say all the prophets were sent by God. Okay. And we Muslims believe Jesus, we say Isa, yes. Islam, Jesus peace be upon him, he was a prophet. So as a Christian, do you believe Jesus was a prophet? Um, not in the context that you believe him to be a prophet. It is a different kind of prophet. When you say different yeah. kind of prophet, uh, what do you mean, please? Well, he's a son of God. Okay. Yeah, he's a, so, more than a prophet. So because you say 
that Jesus is the son of God. Yes. So if he is according to you son of God, yes. was he a prophet as well? Well, he technically is a prophet and was a prophet, but not in the way that you think. Yeah. We, we, we think he's more than a prophet, like uh, he's the son of God. He's, ah, okay. Word is, was so, so, so you said because Jesus was son of God, that's why you say you agree that Jesus was a prophet, yes? Well, yes, technically. But then you say that Jesus was more than a prophet yeah. because according to you, he was son of God. Oh, yes. yeah. Is that why you say he was more than a prophet? Yes. But did you know, in each and every Christian Bible, in the third gospel, gospel according to Luke, chapter 3, verse 38, it says, Adam, son of God. So is that true? Well, we're all sons of God. Sorry. We're, I mean, all, we're all sons of God, all of us. Well, the women can't be sons of God. Oh, can't. I mean, you know. So would you as a Christian say all the women are daughters of God? Oh, yeah, sons and daughters. But God, uh, according to Islamic belief, God doesn't have a sons, he doesn't have daughters. Children okay. of God if you like. Children, children of God. No, no, God doesn't have children, you see. Yeah. Yeah, God doesn't have a wife. God doesn't have a chil he, children. You know, you must become like a He's child. He's one. You have to come, become like a child if you want to enter the kingdom of heaven. So, that's that, that's what it says in our Bible. You must become like a child. And that's you see, in our Holy Quran, you know, in Surah 112, yeah. which is Surah Tul Ikhlas, all right? Allah says, you know, Bismillah rahman rahim Kul hu wallahu ahad. Say Allah, He is one. And every Muslim believes and whenever we, that Allah is one. And whenever we speak about Allah, we say He is one. Kul hu wallahu ahad. Say Allah is one. Allah is samad. Kul hu wallahu ahad. Lam yalid wa lam yulad. Okay. Lam yalid wa lam yulad. He does not beget. He doesn't have children. Walam nor is he begotten. So kulu wa la wa say he's one. Physically, yeah, 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 yeah. I guess I'm getting it. Kulu wa la wa say he's one. Allah is samad. Lam yalid and third verse it says lam yalid wa lam yulad. Nor does is he begotten, nor does he beget, nor is he begotten. You understand? So, so when you say because Jesus was son of God, that's why you say he's more than a prophet. But according to the gospel, according to Luke chapter 3 verse 38, he says in the every Christian Bible that Adam was son of God. And let me give you another example. In the Old Testament of each and every Christian Bible, in the second book of Samuel, chapter 7, verse 14, it says David was son of God. Yeah. So do you believe David was son of God? Um, yes, uh, as, yeah, we all are, like, we're children of God. Okay, can I ask you, was, was this same David, who in the second book of Samuel, chapter 7, verse 14, it says David, son of God. Was this same King David, Prophet David, was he the forefather of Jesus? No. According to the genealogy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, yeah. you have a genealogy of Jesus. Yeah. In each and every, uh, you know, genealogy of Jesus, forefathers of Jesus. So you believe as a Christian that Jesus has forefathers. Oh, yes. yes? Okay. So the genealogy of Jesus in each and every Christian Bible, in the Gospel according to Matthew, which is the first Gospel, and in the Gospel according to Luke, which is the third Gospel. Okay? So it gives the genealogy of Jesus through David. And it says, so, is it true that King David, Prophet David, was the forefather of Jesus? Uh, technically, Yes, it would be, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah. With the DNA, yeah. So David is the forefather of Jesus. Uh, I 
I've never heard it put like that. But yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what Christians tell us. Yes. Because yes. in theology it says yes. that Jesus is from David, King yes. David, yes. Prophet David, Dawood, al Islam. Okay? Now, so you believe Jesus was God, yes? Oh, yes. Did Jesus create David? Oh, I don't know about that. <laughs> That's, that's rather your question. No, Christians say that Christians say Jesus is God. Yeah. So they say that Jesus, because they say he's God, yeah. they say yes, Jesus created David. Yeah, I, I, Dawood. No, I don't know about that. I, so do you agree with them or not? No, I think this is a mystery that we can't understand. Mystery? Oh yeah. But the but the genealogy of Jesus is there. But that's it's kind of I, we're not meant to understand it, honestly. But well, come how, on, how the you, Bible. You know, you when we that? when we read our Holy Quran, yeah. we read the Holy Quran, we understand. Yeah. You understand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I understand what you're it saying. It says, "Kulu wallahu wa Yeah. Say Allah is one. Yeah. We understand. So similarly, when you read the Bible, it's uh, been translated into English. Yeah. Okay. So when in the Bible it says, uh, you know that Adam, son of God. Mm. In the Gospel according to Luke chapter 3, verse 38. Yeah. So when it says, Adam, son of God, so is that true? Yeah. So there you are. I can't so, explain it now. I couldn't... I, I don't so know how so is, the, it is the genealogy of Jesus, genealogy in the, of Jesus in the Gospel according to Matthew, genealogy of Jesus according to the Gospel of Luke, yeah. is that a true genealogy? Oh, yeah. So that genealogy is telling us that David, King David, Prophet David, Dawud al Islam, yeah. is a forefather of Jesus. Yeah, I've never heard it put like that. Yeah. But how can David, the Prophet David, Dawud al Islam, how can King David be the forefather of God? Jesus, you say, God. Yeah. That's I think that was one of your questions that I couldn't answer last week. Another thing, another thing, another thing. We Muslims know that Dawood al Islam, David, peace be upon him, the prophet, King David, he was born before Jesus, before he started. Move this side, the sun is coming. Move this side, okay? So we Muslims know that the prophet. David Dawud al Islam, King David, was born before Isa al Islam, before Jesus. Is that true? Yeah. How can King David, Prophet David Dawud al Islam, be born before Jesus if, he's, if Jesus is God? Yeah. That's, you understand? Yeah, uh, it's a very interesting question. It's simple. When we use yeah. our brain, yeah, we will understand. When we use common sense, yeah. logic, yeah. no way. You see, as Muslims, we rightly believe mm. who comes first? The Creator. Yeah. Who comes first? Yeah. The one and only Creator, God Almighty. Yeah. Okay? So, Creator comes first. Yeah. And then creator creates creation. Yeah. So creator first, then creation. Can I ask you, was Jesus creation? Yeah. He was creation. I would say so. So I agree with you. Yes, Isa, Isa, Jesus, peace be upon him. He was creation. So we Muslims say, Jesus, Isa, Isa, peace be upon him, was creation of Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala, of God Almighty. Do you believe Jesus was creation of God? Yeah, the creator. So, when you, when you agree with me that Jesus was creation of God, so that means creation Jesus cannot be the creator. Yes? Um, that's one of the questions you asked last week, and it's... Uh... I'm really glad that you're asking me these questions and I hope as many Christians can see this interview because I think you bring up some really good points. It's good points, you know why? Excellent. Because I'm a Muslim. Yeah. What I am speaking about, I learned from our Holy Quran. Yeah. You know, so when we read our Holy Quran, it makes sense yeah. to us. But you know. I did tell you last week that yeah. there were certain things. Have you, 
Uh, sorry, have you ever read an English translation of our Holy Quran? Uh, not really. I think it's a good idea. You know, you come to Speaker's Corner, yes. and of course the, you speak with Muslims. I think it's a good idea if you read our Holy Quran in English translation, and you will learn what it says. You know, in our, you know, there are like, like the Catholic Bible has 73 books. The Protestant Bible has 66 books. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Russian Orthodox Bible has 86 books. The Greek Orthodox Bible has 78 books. The Ethiopian Tivahido, the Ethiopian Orthodox Bible has 81 books. Okay, but all of those Bibles that do not have a book of Maryam, a book of Mary. Yeah. Okay, your Bible is a book, and in your Bible you have a number of books to make your Bible, yeah, yeah, yeah. okay? In our Holy Quran, we have 114 surahs, chapters, to make our Holy Quran, our Holy Book, okay? And in our Holy Quran, there is one surah by the name of Surah Maryam. You told me about this last week. Maryam. Yeah, yeah. And yet, why, you know, she was very important. She is the mother of Isa Islam, Jesus, peace be upon him. Yeah. Do you agree that Mary was the mother of Jesus? Okay. The Catholic Christians say that Mary was the mother of Jesus, that the Catholic Christians say that Mary was the mother of God. As a Christian yourself, would you say that Mary was the mother of God? Yes. How? Because uh, Mary was creation, yes? Yeah. Mary was created, yes? So how can creation, Mary, Blessed Maryam, Honorable Maryam, how can Blessed Mary, Honorable Mary, creation, give birth to the Creator? Do you understand? It's impossible. It's mystery. You know, Christian... So, that God who created everything, we say is Allah. That God Almighty who created Isa Islam as well, Jesus, peace be upon him, we say is Allah. Now, would you believe that Jesus was created? So, was Jesus created by God Jesus? By, by the Creator. So that creator who created Jesus was not God. Uh, that creator who created Jesus was not Jesus, was it? Uh, no, Father and Son. Okay, you know. Father, Son, and... Yeah, of course, Jesus, uh, God Jesus never created the prophet Jesus. Uh, you know, because uh, uh, there is no God who is Jesus. Yeah. You know, he wasn't God, he was a prophet, you know. So anyway, very nice of you. We have been talking a long time, and uh, I would advise you, you know, uh, like me, I've been reading the Christian Bibles a long time, you know, since I was young. Yeah. And uh, I have been speaking, debating with Christians, you know, from my, let's say, uh, since I was a teenager, you know, a long time ago. So, you know, because the Bibles are different. It's really horrible though. No, 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 no. This is something very dramatic. Yeah. It is really horrible. Yeah. Yeah, you've got the Creator now spreading dung on people's faces. No, and no, I mean, uh, yeah. These aren't the same changes as, as what were prior. Yeah. These are dramatic. Okay, this is what you have written there, you know. Uh, I mean, even for, for Jesus to tell people to buy a sword, no. That wasn't uh, that's a verse in the Bible, you know. No, it's not. It's a change. It's one of the changes, one of these. Okay, all these, like you got there, uh, Book of James, Chapter 2, Verse 3. Yeah. Uh, you think that's change? It has. So you got there, uh, I mean, the Book of Ezekiel. Gay clothing. Yeah, I'll ask you. Yeah. You got there written yourself, 
Yeah. Sorry, a bit this side. You're in front of the cameras now, you know. You don't want to be in the camera. So slightly this side. So you got their book of Ezekiel. Ezekiel, of course, was also a prophet. Yeah. You got the book of Ezekiel. You know, the chapter 28, verse 29. Yeah. You think that's also been changed? Yeah, because look at that, the mandrake. Okay. Like, okay. That's witchcraft. Mandrake ah, okay, is okay. witchy Okay. It's so you place. think all these uh, verses, name of books you have written, yeah. all these, the Christians have changed? These, no, these are these are very supernatural. Yeah, okay. They've got, they've, they've got some type of technology. Yeah, okay, you can move that side, you know. Side. Yeah, okay. okay. So, yeah, but I explain it here, look. Yeah. This is the explanation. So what do you explain it there? CERN, it's these are doing it. They've, they've admitted... Okay, we'll leave that till some other time, right. maybe, yeah? Okay, then, thank you very thank much, you. yeah? That was very nice of you. You spoke very uh, nicely. And, uh, of course, this is the way we should speak. And uh, there it is uh, to all my fellow Muslim brothers and sisters. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. And to all the non-Muslims, you are also like me, human beings. Uh, whatever your color is, background is, from me to you, a very good day and a very good bye. Thank you very much.